always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. We got a cold night coming up here in West Michigan and uh, frost advisory for most of the area. Here's a look at uh, when the temperature hit 32 degrees for the first time over the past uh, several years here. Last year was October 24th, uh, the year before that, 2020, October 4. And we had two identical years of October 18th here for the eight, uh, 2018 and 19. And we had to wait all the way to almost Halloween to get that first freeze officially in Grand Rapids here in 2017. We have frost advisories tonight for much of uh, lower Michigan. Now, the northern part of our state is going to see frost as well, but they've already had a frost, so they're not issuing frost advisories anymore for that particular area. We take temperatures right at eye level, at five foot uh, above the uh, ground, and it's possible that you can have temperatures that are in the mid-30s at eye level, but in the low 30s with perhaps a little bit of frost down at ground level. So even though our temperatures tonight over much of this area will stop in the mid 30s, it could be closer to 32 right down at ground level. We got frost advisories in effect for Northeast Ohio, Northwest Pennsylvania, much of New York State up in New England. That's a freeze advisory in the dark blue. It's gonna be a cold one out there. As East Grand Rapids just saw a couple of kayakers go by. There have been a couple of boats out there today, not too many. Uh, flag is showing behind me a bit of a breeze out of the northeast, and that wind should go nearly calm overnight tonight. Nothing on Storm Track Live here. You can still see some moisture from uh, Hurricane Ian. Not a hurricane anymore, just a kind of a cool, wet, damp little system, and that's drifting northward up toward uh, New York and Boston. A couple of showers in Minnesota won't reach us. Mostly sunny here the next three days, scattered frost uh, coming up here tonight, and very light winds. We may have an average wind speed of only three or four miles an hour here during the day tomorrow. It should be a very calm day. Some low temperatures overnight tonight. Big Rapids, you get a freeze, 31, 34 in Nuevo when you wake up tomorrow morning. Downtown Grand Rapids at 37, Grand Haven at 38, and to the south you'll find temperatures mostly in the mid to upper 30s. Right at the Lake Michigan beaches, temperatures may be a couple of degrees warmer than that. And high temperatures tomorrow should be back up into the mid-60s. Should be another beautiful day. At Lake Michigan, wave six inches to a foot tomorrow. Wind should be light and variable. The day that we uh, are going to have the beach hazards uh, and uh, the small craft advisories is going to be Thursday. So if you're planning some time to do some fishing on one of the piers, or breakwaters, keep in mind that uh, it could get kind of dicey out there, especially Thursday afternoon. Here's a look at your forecast. Uh, some very pleasant weather ahead. Uh, Mid-upper 60s here tomorrow. Low 70s Tuesday and Wednesday. Cold front comes through Thursday around noon. We may be 62 right at noon. Temperatures will fall in the afternoon. There'll be some scattered showers. And look at Friday. High temperature here of 50. That's the coldest day that we will have had so far this fall. Been a while. Thanks, Bill.